Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this October 9th. It is Columbus Day. Um, Some are calling it something else. Indigenous People Day or something like that. I don't know. Some political correctness. But anyway, most of us grew up with Columbus Day, Christopher Columbus, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever day you call it, I call it Monday. (laughs) Uh, It is cloudy in wake of Nate, who is now a tropical depression, moving through West Virginia into Pennsylvania and moving away from us. But we're still going to see some lingering clouds and maybe even a little bit of mist and drizzle and some patchy, dense fog in a few spots this morning after some beneficial rains yesterday. Now, we picked up almost an inch of rain here in Bowling Green, 89 hundredths to be exact, for the day Sunday. But some of you picked up well over an inch, a few spots even two to three inches of rain yesterday. Just depended on where you were. The heaviest amounts were further east into central Kentucky. Lexington picked up well over three inches of rain, setting a new one-day record. So... Yeah, it just, uh, you know, the track started to go a little bit further east, so we didn't get the really heavy rain, but we got some beneficial rain. It was badly needed. And there's actually more in the forecast, just not from Nate. This will be from a separate uh, system, a cold front, that will be moving in for the day on Tuesday. All right, looking at the numbers, we did pick up 89 hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday. That brings us right up to where we should be for the month of October, and it puts us back in the surplus uh, over six inches for the year to date. So we we were never really threatened there, even though we'd gone, uh, what, 17, 18 days dry. Uh, We were still showing a nice surplus, but this put us back over six inches for the year to date and kind of relieved that little mini drought that we had experienced for a few days. 79 was the official high temperature yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport, five degrees above the average of 74, but our low of 64 was 15 degrees warmer than the average of 49 One year ago, we had a high of 73 and a low of 49 back in 2016. Today, I'm just going to call it mostly cloudy. There could be some sun later breaking through the clouds, some mist and fog this morning, 81 later today with a southeast wind at 5. Cloudy tonight as another cold front approaches. Showers will begin to move in late tonight. Overnight low at 65, and then a good 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely for Tuesday. As that cold front moves through, we'll see a high near 80. Wednesday, showers ending early, then partial clearing and 76. Then a cold front passes through and cools us down into the 50s for overnight lows Wednesday night. Thursday looks nice, mostly sunny, pleasant 75. Friday, sunny 78. Saturday, looking good, sunny 83. Perfect conditions for the annual buddy walk taking place for Down Syndrome at the uh, Bowling Green Ballpark. I will be there for that, as I am every year. And then Sunday, sunny and 84, but yet another cold front. We'll be moving through Sunday night into Monday, and that one looks to bring us more showers by next Monday and cool us back down into the 70s. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this afternoon, if you get a chance to tune in, check out my radio show, at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m., or you can listen live online at BowlingGreenSam.com.